with the link below is a 14 day turnaround. That is except for emergency readings. So if there's something that you need right away, those are still delivered within 48 hours, okay? I will let you know when that changes. All right, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for all your support, you guys. I love it. I read all your comments, so thank you, thank you. Ooh, what do we have? Ooh, the hero fence. Some of you guys have a new relationship. Common Taurus energy. All right, what do we see for Gemini, please? Gemini, this is the 21st through the 27th, 2019. So typically my readings are love, but it's just whomever you have on your mind. We're going to see how this energy plays out. I'll use a separate deck to clarify. All right, Gemini, let's see what's coming in for your week. We're cutting, regrouping, and doing. All right, what's up? What happened in the past? What's the past mutual energy between you and this person? The Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Some of you have Aries in your chart. All right, what's going on currently? What's that current mutual energy with the five of wands? Disputes, conflict. What's on this person's mind, Gemini? What is it? It's the two of wands. They're at a crossroads. They're going to make a decision. It could be two choices, two people, two paths. You might even be at a distance from this person. All right, how do they view you, Gemini? The eight of wands. Moving forward, action. Right, maybe wanting to communicate, maybe you have new love. All right, what's in their emotion? How do they feel deep down? Oh, daddy, the king of pentacles. Taurus energy for me, all right? Stability, they might be really focused on work, right? But deep down, how they're feeling is they want something long-term and stable. The king of pentacles is, is married or in a commitment. Very grounded, very slow to make decisions, but it's all about the future, all right? How does this person see you two moving forward? The hanged man, son of Pisces going on behind the scenes hidden factors the queen of swords well it could be you gemini with that big sword up all right libran energy typically but it certainly could be gemini all right what's your advice gemini dealing with this person <laughs> it's the knight of swords gemini energy maybe you're dealing with another uh air sign libra gemini aquarius what's the outcome for you too it's the star aquarius i have a lot of aquarian energy here all right all right, what's at the bottom of the deck? The overall energy is strength. I think somebody's holding back, probably. Maybe taming communication, their actions, watching their temper, watching their tongue, right? <laughs> Something like that. The strength card, again, major for Leo, can be really acting on your impulses, but having to hold that back, right? All right, let's see what's going on. I feel like somebody's definitely holding back in communication, all right, but they may view you as wanting to communicate or wanting to take action in some some way. All right, Gemini, what's up? Again, this is going to be November 21st through November 27th, 2019. What's the main message for Gemini? So take this however it resonates. Like I said, typically my readings are love, but it's just whomever you're dealing with. What do we see for Gemini, please? Sun, moon. Rising Venus. All right, all right, mom. Let's cut her up, regroup her, and get the message. What's up? All right, what is this? The strength card is your overall energy. Why is this here? Why is strength here? Leo, justice in reverse. All right, somebody feels like they were wronged. All right, Libra and energy. I got a lot of Libra, a lot of Aquarius. All right. Overall energy, somebody's holding back. They're taming their communication. They're not acting on their impulses here because they feel there was some sort of injustice, that somebody lied or, you know, what is this? Justice in reverse, lack of balance or a lack of truth, two of pentacles, and we're dropping it, right? Somebody's dropping a juggler or somebody's dropping somebody that lied to them. That There's a lot of imbalance here. And, you know, it's dropping one of those pentacles in order to regain stability and balance. All right. Now, the past, we have a queen of wands. Who's this? Who's this queen of wands for Gemini in the past? Mm, temperance. Sign of Sagittarius. Some of you have Sagittarius in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with the Sagittarius or they had it in their chart. But regardless, temperance is all about healing yourself, right? And also, often temperance can kind of just be like zen. It's like I'm calm, cool, collected. Somebody probably took action and someone got their mojo back here. And with temperance decided to just heal themselves, right? And really temper their emotions. Page of Swords. 
could have been some communication around this Queen of Wands energy too. Something may have been discovered. Somebody may have reconciled with somebody here. Is kind of what I'm hearing, feeling all of a sudden. Tell me more about Page of Swords. This is typically online, uncovering something. Yeah, Four of Cups. It left somebody very dissatisfied and somebody else rejected. Yeah, I think that Queen of Wands is actually another energy. Because right now we have some disputes, some arguments, gossip, or some sort of um, competitive situation. What is this? Why is this five of wands here for Gemini? Sign of cancer with the chariot. Just moving forward. You guys, you, them, both of you, somebody is just moving on here in this energy. No more. Right? I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to have any kind of conflict. Why is the chariot here? Yeah. Ten of cups. Some of you, it's a marriage. Some of you, it's a family situation. But you're just getting those ten of cups back you want your happiness and you know to get there you got to get in that water uber chariot and move forward i think you or this other person discovered something in the past it could have been online now on this person's mind gemini is the two of wands what's this about the four of pentacles <sighs> making a decision right the two of wands is planning for the future you need to take action but somebody's not sure which way to go and with the Four of Pentacles, this is about holding on to one's security, but also not really revealing, not opening up. Somebody is indecisive. On this person's mind, it was either you or them, obviously, Four of Pentacles, Hermit, Son of Virgo. So they're kind of secluded. They're keeping to themselves. They're not really opening up. And it's because now they have to take action, but they don't know how to do it, right? There is seclusion and withdrawal from you guys. So how do they view you, though, Gemini? They view you as the Eight of Wands. Why? The Three of Cups. They may feel like you want them to communicate and reconcile with them. They may also feel um, that you've just taken action and you're moving forward, right? The Eight of Wands is big, big changes coming in. It's action. It's moving forward towards Three of Cups, dating, getting out there, manifesting, uh, celebrating with friends, family. Yeah, and then the star sign of Aquarius. I feel like this person views you as maybe possibly dating, communicating, maybe doing online dating or something like that, being happy, getting some sort of wish fulfillment. It could be that you had a choice between two people. All right. Now, this isn't, doesn't mean this is what's happening. Remember, this is how they're viewing you. Deep down in their emotions, they have the king of pentacles. Why is this here? King of Pentacles? Yeah, the Four of Wands. This person wants a relationship with you. I feel like it's more you, Gemini, that moved away. You may have even communicated that to them. It was kind of rough communication, right? But this person wants either marriage or commitment or some sort of celebration to come together, manifest a new beginning. I'm telling you. Four is all about stability. What's this for? And it's a celebration. It's a new beginning. What's this uh, moving in together? That kind of shit. Yeah, Six of Cups. See, this person feels like you're their soulmate. But how they see moving forward, obviously somebody from the past who you might even have kids with them, but I'm just saying it's stagnant right now. How do, how do they see the two of you moving forward? They feel it's going to be this hangman energy, which is Pisces. What is this about? Why is the hangman here? The Ace of Cups. They feel like you have new love. Also, also, too, I feel like this person's still in love with you, loves you, right? Yeah, and then look, the two of cups just tried to flip out. I'm taking it. This person feels like you're their soulmate, but it's stagnant. You guys are a stalemate. Somebody's not making a move. Why is this two of cups here moving forward? Yeah, they want to rush in with the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is notoriously known as that player. I'm not really feeling that here. I think this is more action. They want to take action. They feel like you're the one. I'm, I'm saying... But what's going on behind the scenes is this Queen of Swords. I think this is you just cutting it out. What's this Queen of Swords doing? Why is this here? Yep. And becoming independent and single. You don't want to be with this energy. You don't want to be with this person. Sorry. I mean, I'm just reading it how I see. Y'all know I tell the truth. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. You want to be independent. You're cutting. What are you cutting? You're cutting out. That's what the Queen of Swords does. That's you, Gemini. Why is this uh, Nine of Pentacles here? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here, Virgo? By the wand, you're tired of the conflict. You, no more bantering, no more disputes. You'd rather just do it on your own. Go out with friends. Go to the gym. Eat ice cream. I don't know. Net, you know, binge Netflix. I don't know. But that's what's going on here. But this person wants to be with you. I'm just saying. 
Your advice is this Knight of Swords? Why is this the advice for Gemini? Why is it? Well, probably because of you, again. King of Swords. Knight of Swords, King of Swords. The, there could have been an imbalance in the feelings here, too, because I've got a knight and a king. Does not matter gender. Does not matter. It's energy. Your advice is just to move forward and cut this out. Some, there was an imbalance here. I feel like somebody's feelings were way more intense than the other. But the king of swords, that's you. Gemini could be an Aquarius, but I'm just saying. King of swords is very detached, cutting out, seeing the truth. Right? The Seven of Cups, the truth, the reality. Make sure you're, you know, you know that. I think you do. I'm not that concerned. Why is the Seven of Cups? You have no other toys. Yeah, and put an end to it with the Death card. Son of Scorpio. So if you've already done this, which I feel like you have, or you're contemplating it, they're telling you, yeah, that's the right move. Do it. Now, the outcome is the star. This is Aquarius energy. Why is the star here and the outcome for Gemini? Why is this here? What's the star energy? Why and why now? Why will they experience the star? The three of pentacles. See, dating, collaborating. The star is starting to manifest, working with others, whether it's work, love, whatever it is. The three of pentacles, three is about coming to some sort of an agreement. But this is a very social card, too. This is out manifesting, dating, you know, on the same page building. So the three of pentacles for me is like, you go out and you talk about where you want to go for the future. And if you guys are on the same page and, you know, it's that kind of thing. But with that star card here, there is manifestation and wishes, happiness. Yeah. And then the knight of pentacles, just slowly moving forward. I think you guys are going to be very practical. Some of you have a new Virgo coming in. All right. Doesn't have to be a Virgo. I'm just saying the card. The knight of pentacles is typically Virgo. Could be somebody you work with, too, that um, you kind of see as maybe the one. I'm just saying, the star. The Knight of Pentacles is building for the future, and so is that Three of Pentacles. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here in the outcome? What's this Knight of Pentacles? The Emperor in reverse. Sign of Aries. Just moving forward slowly and carefully, too, with that pentacle into other relationships or dating or that kind of thing. Because with the Emperor in reverse, you may have been dealing with someone, could have been an Aries, it doesn't have to be, or just a situation where you felt powerless, right? There's no control or power over a situation. The Emperor can be kind of nasty energy, but I don't feel like you were dealing with somebody like that. I just feel like there, somebody felt powerless in this connection. They still do. Yeah, because I think it's mainly you. Remember, the energy can be where somebody's walking away. Somebody's lost complete power and control. They know that. They want it. Oh, they want it. But, uh, yeah, the moon. Listening to your intuition. Letting the moon guide you towards your ten of cups. Look, the moon is in both of these cards. The eight of cups, just my ass look big as I walk away card. Right? But the moon is there. You're letting the moon guide you towards your two additional cups, your happiness. And then you've got the moon here. Cancer, Pisces, energy. Kind of the unknown, right? I feel like for a lot of you, um, you have this new fresh energy. You become single from somebody, but you're kind of just letting the universe, the moon guide you. Yeah, a lot of Pisces energy. Gaining a new perspective on a situation. Trying to see something from a new perspective. I always feel like, the, I mean, look, the hangman's upside down. He's having this, like, light bulb moment, right? What do I want? Who do I want? I'm going to be careful and very practical with that Knight of Pentacles. Very cautious moving forward. Gemini, you're dealing with somebody who wants a commitment and a relationship with you. And I feel like you've cut it out or you will be cutting it out. You don't want any more conflict. You don't want any more drama. And you're headed towards new things. But I'm telling you, this person, I mean... King of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Six of Cups. That's like somebody that they feel that they can build a future with, move in together, get engaged, have long term, have children. Like they want that. But they know moving forward, you've put it at a stalemate or it's just, it's not moving anywhere. Right. And I feel like a lot of them are still in love. They still want to offer that cup to you. And they, but they also feel like a lot of you guys are manifesting and dating and just moving forward. Oh, 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 oh,